Welcome to this video of a thermal analysis of a radiator using ANSYS Fluent. This is a typical radiator that's used in the SAE International College Design Series. It's called Formula SAE, where colleges and universities build cars and race them on a given course. This is a typical radiator from a motorcycle. In this case, you can see it's located on the side of this car. You can put it wherever you want. Are no rules on where it can be located. This particular radiator has two fans and the CFD model that I'm going to be talking about today can be used to investigate the conjugate heat transfer from the liquid coolant to the fan blown air. Within Workbench I've set up geometry mesh fluent and results blocks. We'll first look at space claim and learn how to create a 2D surface instead of actually modeling the 3D shape of the metal part of the radiator. In space claim you can see the radiator core with some fan shrouds. What I've done is created an air block that has some space in front of the radiator and behind the radiator where the air is going to blow through and then I've also filled the radiator with a liquid. Where the fan blades were located I've created two solid blocks that will be the area where I will apply a fan boundary condition and fluent won't have to model the, the fan blades. As you can also see I've suppressed the radiator core and then put the air both my solid blocks for the fan and liquid volume I've put all of those in a component and this component has shared topology and you want to turn on merge. That's going to create the 2D surface that you need between the liquid coolant and the air that Fluent will use as a coupled surface. Next, we'll double click on Mesh and open up the mesher and cover what's important in meshing. It's very important to make sure that you have your four parts, your air, your antifreeze, your two fans, and then it's time to start naming some of the surfaces where you're going to apply the boundary conditions. First thing we want to do is name the inlet for the antifreeze. It's going to enter in the top left and it's going to exit out of the bottom right. The air is going to flow in from the front of the radiator and it's going to flow out the back. So you need to name all of those surfaces by clicking on those surfaces and then right clicking and create a name selection. I'm going to turn off everything, hide all the other bodies except for this fan and this is where I want to name this front surface of my fan disk. I'm going to call that fan 1. I do the same thing for fan 2. And I also put some body sizing on my fan disks and I created this mesh. So now we're ready to go on to Fluent and set up the boundary conditions. When Fluent opens up we can set the fan pressure jump to 4000 pascals liquid coolant water, we're going to choose water instead of antifreeze, it's going to enter at 100 degrees Celsius with a velocity of 9 meters per second, a typical flow rate. The air outlet is set to a standard atmospheric gauge pressure of 0 pascals and the metal body of the radiator is modeled as 2D aluminum coupled surface so we have to set the thickness of it. We have four cell zones so we just want to make sure that for the antifreeze cell, cell zone we want to make sure that we pick water. I've already talked about setting up the inlet for the air, for the antifreeze, and both the outlets set at atmospheric pressure. So we're just going to talk about the fans. We also want to find where we have fan 1 and fan 2. We want to make sure that we pick this as a fan and when we open it up fan box we want to make sure that we get the right direction. In this case I had to reverse the direction. And to keep it simple, I'm just going to use a pressure jump. And so I'm going to set that pressure jump as 4,000 pascals. When we created the component in space claim, it makes this shadow. You want to make sure that that shadow, that coupling wall, is set up as a wall. Okay, not as an interface, not as an interior wall. You want it to set up as a wall. Then you can go in and click the thermal tab. You can set the material to aluminum. And you can pick a thickness of 2 millimeters for the wall. Since it's a shadow, it's already coupled for thermal conditions, so it's going to transfer the energy from the hot liquid to the cool air. We'll leave everything else as default, and we'll initialize by using hybrid initialization. 
after the initialization is finished, we can go ahead and click Calculate. After Fluent has converged, we can double click on Results to open up CFD Post. We open up CFD Post, we can then look at some streamlines, the air flowing through, speeding up as it goes through the fan. We can also take a look at vectors coming off the fan, or we can look at the vectors as it goes through the radiator, speeds up going through the fan. We can also look at temperature contours on a plane, cut through the coolant, and you can see that it starts out at 100 degrees and cools it down to about 98 degrees at the outlet. Thanks for watching this video on the thermal analysis of a radiator using ANSYS Fluent.